So in the last part of the tutorial we looked at finishing off um, the rest of our albums functions as well as uh, being able to edit and delete um, and uh, just generally manage our albums. Now in this part we're going to look at a problem that uh, we might face when users are trying to browse to our uploads folder. So let's go over to context. You can see we've got this uploads folder which stores the, uh, the folder names in corresponding to the albums and the images will eventually go in there. However at the moment you can see that um, if we go over to our browser and actually try and browse to this folder, let's go to uh, forward slash uploads you can see that we can actually get a list of uh, albums that exist and as well inside the thumbnails folder as well so we need to actually create an HT access file that will disallow um, browsing this directory um, you will also need to go ahead into the uh, function that creates the um, the album and actually uh, insert an HT access inside of each folder that you use as well. I'm not going to be covering this in the tutorial, uh, but it's quite simple with just opening a file and writing some data to a file. So we're going to be covering just uh, creating an HT access here and inside of Thumbs as well. So let's go ahead uh, over to our text editor. Let's cancel that and create a new file. Uh, I'm going to call this file HT access, obviously uh, with a dot in front, so that's just uh, the file extension. Um, and the uh, HT access um, content is minus indexes. Sorry, indexes. So let's go ahead and save that inside uploads as dot HT access. And uh, we're going to do the same, um, exactly the same inside of here. So let's go ahead and copy and paste that into a new file and save that inside thumbs as well, so .ht access. Now uh, if we go back over to our browser and refresh, you can see that we have an access forbidden error message. So this is just going to prevent users from actually uh, viewing uh, what's inside the images inside of, uh, of this folder. Um, so again, you're going to need to do this for each album created inside the uh, album ID name that corresponds to the folder. Uh, but like I said, I'm not going to be covering this in the tutorial. So in this part of the tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, actually creating or being able to upload an image. And we're going to create the uh, function that allows us to do this uh, and then generate the thumbnail. And then we're going to place the images in the relevant directories. So the first thing we want to do is actually create the upload um, page, so the page we're actually going to upload to. So let's go ahead and create a new file in our root directory, and this is going to be called upload underscore image.php. Now inside here we do exactly the same thing as we have before, we include init.php, and we also include the uh, header and the footer file. So let's go ahead and include header.php, and we can copy and paste that down and just change this here to footer.php. Okay, so now that, uh, that we've done that, we've got our page set up, let's go ahead and just create a header tag. So upload image. And um, just let's get rid of that here. Oh no, let's get come down here. So what we're gonna, first of all going to need to actually do is check whether the user has any albums because obviously they're not going to be able to upload an image unless they have an album to upload an image to. So the first thing we need to do is make use of the get albums function. So we're going to create a new variable and that's going to be called albums and that's going to be equal to get underscore albums. Now remember this uh, function returns an array of uh, a list of albums that belong to the user. So we can create a simple if statement and then an else block as well on here. And the condition is if empty albums, meaning are there have uh, you know has there been any um, values returned in this array? Um, if it's empty, we're going to just echo out an error message. And uh, let's close that in paragraph tags and just say you don't escape that character have any albums uh, any albums um, and then we're just going to provide a link to the user to be able to create an album so create an album and we also know that the uh, file is create underscore album dot php uh, we've already created that file so otherwise we can just say um, okay just for now uh, and then we're going to start to include our form and uh, and list our uh, our albums that we can upload to. So let's go back over to our uh, browser and let's go into the main page. Uh, let's click on, uh, well, let's go over to upload 
image.php uh, and you can see this says OK. However, that's because I have an album. Let's say I delete this album. Let's go back over to upload image.php and it says you don't have any albums. So we've checked if the user actually has any albums before we start to upload. So let's first of all go in ahead and add a link to our menu page just so we can easily access this file. So let's go ahead and open uh, our widgets folder and our menu.php and we can just go ahead and copy a link here, add a slash there and uh, let's choose um, a name for this. So it'll be upload image and let's choose the file name. So that's upload underscore image.php. That uh, has now, well now should have updated the menu with the upload image button or link. We can click on that and uh, we have this page. So we're prompting the user to create an album. So let's go ahead and just create another album. It's called holiday and some holiday photos. Click create, we've created the album. Okay, so let's go ahead to upload image. Now what do we want to do if the user has uh, albums that exist um, we want to display a form so let's first of all just go up here and uh, just uh, include some relevant checks we want to include um, a, a check to see if the user has actually logged in or not or is logged in so again if not logged in and we've already done this before in uh, other pages so it should be quite familiar to you we relocate the user to index.php and then we exit uh, just for security so now that we've done this, we've checked if the user is logged in, we can go ahead and start building our form. I'm going to get rid of uh, or end the PHP uh, tag there and start one there. And in here, we're going to start building the form. OK, so this is also going to make use of this albums array here. And we're going to be listing the albums that a user currently has inside a drop down box. Let's go ahead and start building the form. The action is blank because we are posting to the same page and the method as before is post. Okay, so let's start building up our fields that we require. Uh, the first one is choosing a file. So I'm just going to write choose a file and I'm going to create an input type and this is going to be uh, file. Okay, so uh, now let's give that a name and I'm going to call that image. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and break down here just to make it look a bit neater. Now there is one thing we need to bear in mind. Because we're uploading a file, we need to include another attribute in our form tag and this is the enc type and this is just the way that PHP handles the passing of a file so we can access all the elements of a file uh, inside of the uh, files array once we have uh, actually submitted the file so this is multi part slash form data okay so that's going to allow us to actually be able to upload a file and access its properties let's go ahead and take a look at how that's looking Okay, so we've got choose a file and we're able to click choose a file and actually choose a file to upload. Let's go down and uh, start on this album uh, list. So uh, we need to say choose an album and break down. So let's pull this down a bit just so it looks a bit neater. And in here we want to include a select field. So select and we can end that there. The name of this field is going to be album ID. Now the value of each drop down um, item inside of this is going to be the album ID. So when we pass this back to the page to upload the file, we know which album uh, the user wants to upload to. And this uh, inside of here, we need to automatically generate a list of albums. Now as we know, the get albums function returns a list of albums. So we can start PHP tags here and actually start a for each loop to loop through the results found in albums. So we can uh, create a for each loop and we say for each albums as album. Now if I was to go ahead and uh, just write out the code, so I'm going to echo out um, option, option. Now we need to set a value to this and in here this is going to be the album ID. Okay, So we need to access the album ID from this album uh, array here. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, well, we'll do that last. We'll, we'll get this working first. So I'm going to comma separate these because echo allows us to do that, uh, which is essentially concatenation. So I'm going to access the album uh, array and using square brackets, I'm going to say name. 
Now what's going to happen is for every album that the user owns we're echoing out an option inside this select field. So if you're unsure about select fields go ahead and read up on them, see how they work uh, and then you'll understand uh, what we are actually doing here. But otherwise we're just dynamically generating a list of albums. Now obviously the value needs to be the ID of the album so we can again break the code here and just say album ID. Okay, so quite simple. Uh, let's go ahead to our uh, browser. Let's just create a new album. Um, in fact, let's upload an image first. Now it says choose an album, it's holiday. It's the only album that we actually have created at the moment. And you can see that it's worked. We have the name of the album in here. Let's go ahead and create a new album. Uh, create album. Uh, general, I'm just say general photos. Click create. And we've got this new general album. So let's go over to upload image and you'll see that we've got an additional form field here. So we've dynamically generated the um, albums that the user owns. And if we go ahead and view the page source, you can see that, uh, let's go down, you can see that the album value of holiday is 59 and the album value of general is 60. So we've uh, inserted the ID as well. So when we pass this back to our page, we know exactly what album the user wants to update to and we can easily in or upload to, sorry, and we can easily insert this into our database. Okay, so the next stage is just to finish off the form. Uh, I'm gonna come down here and create the button uh, that the user is going to press, the uh, submit button. So let's create a new input type and that is uh, submit, and the value of that is upload. So now that we've got the form together, we can go ahead and start writing the PHP code that's actually going to process uh, the, these uh, data values that we've passed. So just above of where we've um, declared this albums variable here, we can start to write the code. So again, we say if, and uh, we create a block, and we're checking if the form has been submitted and all the values are set. So if is set. Uh, now the first is dollar underscore files. We're now accessing the file that we are actually uploading and we just write image because we've called it image in our uh, field. Uh, and also we need to check dollar underscore post album ID.